Hello, and welcome to another Minute with Matt. I'm Matt with New Life Church, and we're continuing our series of short Bible studies covering the book of Matthew. We're starting with Matthew ch chapter 14, verses 22 through 33. It's one of the longer ones, but I just don't see a good separating point in this story. Immediately Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side. This was right after feeding 5,000. While well, he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. By the way, if Jesus needed to pray, guess what? I need to pray. You need to pray. Now when evening came, he was alone there. But the boat was now in the middle of the sea. Tossed by the waves, and for the wind was contrary. So it's uh, not the best of situations, is it? Now in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went to them, walking on the sea. Okay, so there in the tempest tossed. Uh, and what is that? <laughs> you know, a guy walking on the sea. Verse 26. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out for fear. You know, it's dark as anything. But they see this figure coming to them. This sounds like the beginning of a horror story. <laughs> and they're scared. Oh no, it's a ghost! It's a ghost! What are we going to do? <laughs> so they cried out for fear. Verse 27. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, be of good cheer. It is I. Do not be afraid. I mean, that is so powerful. It doesn't matter what is going on around you, what kind of a storm your life has put you in. If Jesus is with you, you don't have to be fearful. You can be of good cheer. You can smile through your trial if Jesus is with you. Verse 28. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. That's, uh, that's boldness. You know, Jesus, or, now Peter was pretty much always the first one to talk. Sometimes he said good stuff, sometimes not so good. But uh, this time I think it was good. Apparently, 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 Jesus agreed. So he said in verse 29, Come. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Think about this. This is a fisherman. He has spent his whole life on the sea. And he climbs off the boat in the middle of the water. And he is actually walking on the waves. He is walking on the water. I think, yeah. I mean, the guy, uh, the guy could swim, but he never walked on water before. I did one winter; it was frozen over, <laughs> so I walked on ice. <laughs> but this wasn't ice. This was a storm, and the water was full of waves, and you know. Then something bad happens. Verse 30. But when he saw that the wind was boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out saying, Lord, save me! <sighs> yeah. While he's looking at Jesus, he's walking on the water. Then he starts, wow, that wind is really going. Boy, the, those waves are really something. And when his eyes were not on Jesus, he began to sink. And uh, verse 31, And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him, and said to him, O, ye, o you of little faith, why did you doubt? So here's the interesting thing. He helped him, then he rebuked him. He didn't stand there. Yeah, you should have. 
You should have kept your eyes on me. You shouldn't have doubted and all that. While Peter is seeking and seeking and seeking. Peter cried out for help. Jesus helped him. Then he told him that he shouldn't have doubted. Verse 32. And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. All of a sudden. Verse 33. Then those who were in the boat came and worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. Which he was. And, by the way, he accepted their worship. Because worshipping Jesus is right and proper. You know, angels would refuse worship when they appeared to men. People should you know, just regular human beings, not the Son of God, <laughs> like Paul and Silas, or Paul and, I think, yeah. They, uh, they were started to be worshipped, and they put a stop to it immediately. But Jesus accepted that worship, because he alone is worthy of our praise, all our worship. And, uh, he truly is the Son of God. I hope this has been a blessing. Okay, see you next time. Bye.